Hey everyone, welcome to Windows Fixer. If you're facing PC issues, we've got you covered with quick and easy fixes. In today's video, we're solving a frustrating problem, Valorant updates getting stuck at 0.1 kilobytes per second. If you're trying to install or update Valorant, but the download speed is stuck at 0.1 kilobytes per second, you're not alone. Many players face this issue even with a fast and stable internet connection. The problem can be caused by network restrictions, interference from security software, incorrect DNS settings, or even system resource allocation issues. Before you start, understand. Why this happens? Sometimes Valorant appears stuck at 0.1 kilobytes per second, but it's not actually frozen. The Riot client downloads part of the update, then pauses to extract the files before continuing. During this extraction process, the speed might drop to 0.1 kilobytes per second, but the game isn't stuck, it's just processing data. If you notice the update getting stuck for only a few minutes, waiting is the best option. But if it remains stuck for a long time, let's go through some real solutions to get your update running smoothly. 1. Uninstall or disable third-party antivirus software actively scans files being downloaded, and sometimes it may mistakenly flag Valorant update files as a threat. When this happens, the Riot client fails to process the update, causing it to slow down or get stuck. Either you can temporarily disable it or just uninstall it from control panel. Here, how you can do it. Press Windows plus R, type appwiz.cpl, and press Enter. Locate your antivirus in the installed programs list, right-click it, and choose Uninstall. I don't use any third-party antivirus or tool. For me, it's totally useless for some reason, but everyone have their own opinion. Anyways, follow the prompts to remove it completely. Once the antivirus is removed, restart your PC and try updating Valorant again. If the antivirus was the problem, your download speed should now improve. If you don't want to uninstall it completely, try disabling real-time protection instead. 2. Switch to Google DNS. Your internet service provider assigns DNS servers that may not be optimized for fast gaming connections. Some ISP DNS servers struggle to connect to Riot servers, causing slow downloads. Google DNS is faster and more reliable, which can help stabilize your connection. Press Windows plus R, type ncpa.cpl, and press Enter. Right-click your active network adapter and select Properties. Find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and double-click it. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and enter. 8.8.8.8.8.4.4. Click OK and restart your Riot client. Your PC will now use Google's DNS, improving Riot server connectivity and potentially fixing download speed issues. 3. Close high bandwidth apps. If your internet is being used by other applications, Valorant won't get enough bandwidth to download properly. Apps like YouTube, Netflix, Steam, or even Windows updates can take up a lot of your internet speed leaving very little for the Riot client. OK, now press Control plus Shift plus ES key to open Task Manager. Click on the Network tab to see which apps are using the most internet. Right-click High Bandwidth Apps, like Chrome, Steam, or Discord, and choose End Task. With other applications closed, your internet speed will be focused on Valorant, making the update process much smoother. This technique is useful when there are a lot of processes are consuming your internet bandwidth. Set Riot Client Priority to high your system might not be allocating enough processing power and bandwidth to the Riot Client, which can slow down downloads. By increasing its priority, Windows will focus more resources on it, helping it download and process files faster. Open Task Manager with Control plus Shift plus ESC. Go to the Details tab. Find RiotClientServices.exe, right-click it, hover over Set Priority, and choose High. Repeat this for all Riot-related processes. Your PC will prioritize the Riot client, improving its ability to download and process files quickly. 6. Disable IPv6. Valorant primarily relies on IPv4, while some network configurations default to IPv6, causing compatibility issues. Disabling IPv6 ensures that your connection remains stable without unnecessary conflicts. Press Windows plus R, Type ncpa.cpl and hit Enter. Right-click your network adapter and select Properties. Uncheck Internet Protocol version 6, TCP slash IPv6, and click OK. Restart your PC. Your connection will now rely on IPv4, 
eliminating any potential issues related to IPv6 incompatibility. Seven, allow Riot client through firewall. Your firewall protects your PC, but it might also block the Riot client's connection, slowing down or stopping the download. Manually allowing Valorant through your firewall ensures that updates are not blocked. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus R, type firewall.cpl, and hit Enter. Click Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click Change Settings and find Riot Client. Check both private and public boxes. If Riot Client isn't listed, click Allow another app, find it, and add it. What happens after? Valorant will now have unrestricted access to the internet, resolving any connection issues. Lastly, use a VPN or switch internet. Sometimes your ISP is the real problem. They might be throttling Riot servers, causing slow or stuck downloads. A VPN can bypass these restrictions by connecting through a different server, while switching networks lets you test if your ISP is blocking the download. Install a trusted VPN like ProtonVPN or Windscribe. Connect to a different server, preferably in a nearby region. Try updating Valorant again, or if you have access to another Wi-Fi network, switch and test if the download speeds improve. If your ISP was the issue, Using a VPN or switching network should restore normal download speeds. Final thoughts. If none of these solutions work, the issue might be on Riot's end. Check Riot game server status and try again later. Hopefully, one of these fixes helped get your Valorant update unstuck. If this video was helpful, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to Windows Fixer for more PC and gaming fixes. See you in the next one. Blast off.